What's up, Martians? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Surviving Mars. Surviving Mars is a strategy sim. sim. It's uh, basically a Mars colony builder. Uh, it is coming out on March 15th. Uh, it will be going for $40. Now, $40 does sound like a, a little steep for a game like this. Uh, I did get a copy for free from the devs, but I gotta say, if, if I didn't have a copy free from the devs, um, I would have bought this game outright uh, i'm not going to tell you guys how to spend your money i suggest you watch the let's play and decide for yourself let's get started all right so we're going to start a new game here okay and we're going to have a we're going to have a difficulty bonus and we've got a couple things here we can choose some of them will affect the difficulty bonus some of them won't some of the effects that we'll start off with in the beginning of the game is starting rockets. That's how many rockets are going to be going to Mars. Um, then you'll have a difficulty, uh, overall difficulty thing here, for depending on what you pick up here. Uh, you'll have funding, which is 30,000 million credits. I, I don't... I don't understand the idea of saying 30,000 million, but I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to call it, like my buddy Quill, I'm going to call it Mars Bucks. And no, Quill is not my buddy, but I love his videos. And he calls them Mars Bucks, so that's what I'm going to call them. Okay, you've got research per soul. I'm not sure exactly what soul is. I think it's a day, but don't quote me on that. And we got 300 research per soul. Starting uh, applicants, 200. Uh, you got the large rocket payload, uh, colonists never get earth sick. Now this is all because, uh, we have the mission sponsor of international Mars mission. Uh, there's all kinds of sponsors here. I'm going to be sponsored by USA, USA, America. All right. Um, the international Mars mission is basically we want to play on the easiest setting. Um, I'm not, I'm a noob. So like, I don't want to be playing on like super hard settings, but at the same time, very easy. Eh. You know, I do have my pride. Um, and as you go down, they get harder and harder until uh, you come to Russia, which is the hardest. Um, so we're going to go at USA. Uh, we're going to get three starting rockets. Difficulty is going to be easy. We're going to have 8,000 cage. Uh, oh, God, I almost call it cage bucks. Cage bucks is what I call the currency of my stream. Um, eight, we're going to start right off with 8,000 Mars bucks. Research uh, 300 per soul. Uh, starting applicants 100. I'm not sure what that means, but I think that might mean people. When you first go to Mars, you don't take people. You send you send drones and robots. We'll get into that in a moment. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and pick USA. And as you can see right here, our difficulty bonus just went up, and our effects overall is now easy instead of very easy. Um, now we're gonna pick a commander profile, and each profile has their own little thing. You could um you could actually pause the video if you want to see what these do. Just pause the video. Um, whenever it get, you know, for each one, I looked at all of them. Um, I kind of like the inventor and the rocket scientist. I think I'm going to go with the rocket scientist, uh, which is that one. Now the inventor, uh, gets drones are gradually optimized to work and construct faster until Sol 100. And he also gets, um, uh, drone hubs no longer require power maintenance. That's pretty good. But I'm going to go rocket scientist. The reason I'm going to go rocket scientist is because you start off with an extra rocket. And I really like starting off with an extra rocket. Um, plus you get a bonus tech uh, CO2 jet propulsion. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. You get to pick a logo. I'm going to pick don't panic because that's awesome. <laughs> and uh, let's go to the next thing. All right. So here, this, this, uh, this gives you the stuff that you can bring with you, right? Um, you have cargo capacity, funding. And you know everything you're gonna bring with you. We're gonna we're gonna be bringing prefab buildings. Let's see, what we're gonna be building, uh, bringing. It looks like we're gonna be building, a, bringing a drone hub. Prefab buildings are kind of like packaged buildings, and you don't really build them when you get to Mars. You kind of just unpack them, so they they come up a lot quicker. Uh, what else do we bring? Our fuel refinery. Okay, produces fuel from water. Okay, um, two generators. That's nice. Okay. All right, yeah, that, that works. That works. Um, what about the rovers? We're going to have one RC rover, remote-controlled uh, vehicle that transports commands and repairs drones. Drones are going to be the backbone of our of our colony for maybe ever. I'm not really sure. But they're definitely the backbone when you first start, and I think they'll always be the backbone. Um, and these guys control them. All right, your rocket will actually control some drones, and this thing will control some drones. And if, if drones only have, like, a certain circumference, they can go around whatever's controlling them. You'll see. All right, uh, RC Explorer, um, which these, this thing uh, analyzes anomalies, all right? Then we have the uh, RC Transport, remote-controlled vehicle that trans transports resources. So this thing can go around and pick up iron and bring it back to your base, all right? Um, so I think these automatically come with drones. Uh, so I don't think we're bringing any extra drones. Uh, no metals, no food. 
Um, we're gonna be, we're gonna bring twenty polymers. That's good. Twenty five machine parts, electronics, and some orbital probes. Uh, these things, orbital probes, are gonna uh, like inspect areas that we don't know about to see what's there before we go there. So, all right. Well, let's uh, let's yeah. That works for me. I kind of like what we're bringing. So now we have to select a landing spot, and each landing spot has different things. It's got um, the location. Um, I know I'm a Neanderthal, but I can't deal with Celsius. I hope they. I gotta look. Actually, you might be able to change that to Fahrenheit. I'd really like to change that to Fahrenheit. Um, so, but it also it also has uh, topography, uh, the resources that are in the area, the threats, dust devils, dust storms, meteors, cold waves, and then they have ones that are already set up for you that kind of look really good. Um, let me take a look around and see what I can find. Um, what about this one? This looks pretty good. Nope. Medi I want one on all of the threats, damn it. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get one on all of the threats. Maybe. Let me see. Nah. 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 Oh, God. Dust storms. Yeah. When you go out in the plains, you get, like the flat areas, you're going to get a lot of dust storms. Okay. So, dust devils. How about that? Um, it's a little cold. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the way, this is the place you want to start. Um, one across the board. I don't think this is procedurally generated either. So, because I've started here in my test game, but we're going to start there now too, because it's going to be awesome. All right. So we are on our way to Mars, guys. We're going to science the shit out of this. It's going to be awesome. If you guys didn't see the Martian, you really should do yourself Welcome a favor. Welcome to Mars. And see the Martian. Welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its uh, precious cargo. Um, all right. Well, I'm not on it, so it's not that precious. But <laughs> our remote controlled eyes and hands uh, on the red planet, the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building uh, the first Martian dome. So basically, we're sending all the robots, build the dome, and then we'll bring some people. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But, in but until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough uh, construction, resources, water, oxygen, power. Okay. All right. Uh, there we go. So let's close that. All right. And we're just looking around here. We've got an area right here. Um, I guess this is the area we, we uh, scanned. So we're going to kind of look at this area and kind of zoom in. Yep, there we go. We can zoom in. Oh, so maybe this doesn't actually look like... Hmm. Oh, no, that that, that is the place where I want to go. All right, so right here we have uh, Athena number one, which is our rocket. And we have the orbital probe. So we're going to click on the orbital probes and milestone look there. Milestone achieved. And I just got a milestone. And then we're going to look there. Okay, so we just used our, pro our orbital probes. Um, so they're all done. By the way, we have... a. Uh, like little, uh, I don't know, markers up here to alert to alert you when something interesting is happening. Uh, we got a milestone. Right click to get rid of it. There we go. Uh, new anomalies. We found anomalies. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, sector A3 is scanned. Uh, it shows you what it's got there. All right. Uh, we have no active research and we need to uh, select a sector to scan, which we already did. All right. Oh, no. We can scan. You can actually scan even without those probes. Um, so now we want to pick more areas to scan. Okay, so I'm going to go... I don't know how many I can do. I think I could do like four. Yeah, four. Okay. So what will happen is this will scan automatically over time. It'll take a while. And there's buildings we can build to uh, help this scan quicker. But for now, we just got to leave it the way it is. You can see the scanning right there is uh, 1%. So this is where we're going to want to build. All right. So what are we looking at here? So, uh, by the way, WASD moves around. You can also use the arrow keys to move around or just go to the edge of the screen. All right. So we're looking at right here is concrete. Uh, concrete deposit, right? You know what concrete is. Uh, the grade is low. It shows all the concrete that's in there. Right here, we have a underground water. All right, very low. Shows you how much water is in there. Right here, we have metal deposits. Um, these are basically just metal lying around on the surface. And your drones will, you know, grab them whenever they need them to construct something. This is another... Uh, yeah, this is another concrete deposit. We've got three in the area. We've got another water deposit over here. This is an anomaly. Sen sensor Sensors readings suggest this anomaly will help with our current research goals. Uh, send an explorer to analyze the anomaly. That's what the explorer is for. Okay. Uh, we've got another anomaly up here. Uh, this uh, might help us discover new technologies. And our scans have found some interesting readings in this sector. For further analysis is needed. Send an RC Explorer to analyze this anomaly. 
Okay. Well, I think we need to pick a spot to come down on. All right. So we, we click our little ship right here. All right. So you can see the white area is the area where um, it has to be clear. Like you see right here, uh, it's blocked by objects. Right here, it'll tell you it's overlapping a deposit, so you don't want to land there. By the way, doesn't the ship look like a shark? Don't think about the ship. Look at the little eye. And then the, 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 the little... It looks like there's teeth. This thing looks like a shark. I think it's hilarious. All right, so um, you can also press R to rotate. Um, this is a pretty good spot to be. Uh, it's not showing me the blue outline, though. That's kind of weird. It's not, it's not, there's like a blue outline where there's only so much... Um, basically your ship can control drones in a certain area. So you can only work in a certain area surrounding the ship, but it's not showing me that area. I thought it should have, but all right, well, whatever. We'll just, uh, land right here. I don't know why it's not showing me that blue area. It's kind of weird. So you can see right here, the ship's coming down. Can you see it? There we go. And we're going to land. I wanted to land at a different spot, but I, I'm not going to like play around because I don't know, like without seeing that little blue outline, I don't know how far, uh, the ship can, you know can work right all right so there we go and our rovers are coming out what is that that's the um that's the rc rover this is the rc explorer and this is the rc transport all right and now we should have our drones coming out right you got any drones come out do they come out before i give them anything to do yep there we go so the uh, rc rover has drones in the back and they're coming out okay all right so we're gonna press the uh, space bar to pause the game and you can see right here okay rc rover has four of eight drones. Um, it can hold eight drones. It's only got four. Okay, our ship... Oh, you can see the blue outline now, by the way. Oops, didn't mean to go that far. You can see the blue outline now. That's the outline. That's how far the drones that are connected to the ship can work. All right? And the ship... Oh, boy. This is... Uh, no, we don't want to launch. Um, can we see how many... Yeah, the drones on the ship. So, I the drone didn't come with any ships. Uh, sorry, the ship didn't come with... I don't think the drones, I don't think the ship came in any drones. Drones commanded by the rocket ship. Yeah, it's got zero. So this is a little bit harder of a start than last time because last time I played, I had the different sponsor, which gave me a lot more drones. So it is what it is. So we have four drones being worked uh, for by the RC Rover and they can only, they can only work this area. Okay, I wonder if I could transfer them from the RC Rover to the ship. Um, we're going to take this guy and we're going to reassign him to the ship reassign right did that work i don't know what's going on i don't know i'm not sure did that work that did work so we now have one drone reassigned to the ship so i'm gonna reassign him to the ship as well we'll have two assigned we'll have two reassigned to the ship all right so now the ship should have two drones and the rover should have two okay that's much better it gives us a little bit more maneuverability all right so the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need um some concrete so what we're gonna need is we're gonna bring up the build menu at b and we are going to look for, uh, down here, we're going to look for production. And we've got a concrete extractor. It costs six, six iron and two machine parts. So that's fine. We're going to put that right over here. Again, you can rotate like that. Um, if you look on the right-hand side, it has available resources and grade. The grade is high. So we could do up to 387. I think that's pretty good. We'll do 387 and then we'll just uh, start the game and those drones should go over there and start working on that thing. Now, yeah, okay, so we're gonna bring this over here. There we go, that works out pretty good. Okay, so while the drones are working on that, we are, we're we're gonna take this, um, the transport uh, rover, the RC transport, and we're gonna bring them over here and we're gonna click on these things. And now that transport thing will come over here and load all the iron into it, okay? And then what we're going to do is we are going to grab our storage and we're going to have a metals uh, depot. And we'll put the metals depot... Um, it's kind of fine right there. We'll put a metals depot right there. Okay, so now we got the metals depot down. Basically, that'll just be a place uh, for people to put metal, right? It's a metals depot to store 180 metal. Excess resources will be delivered automatically to other depots within uh, drone range, Okay. All right, so is this thing still packing up now? It's taking a while, isn't it? Man, hurry up, dude. All right, so another thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to power this thing, right? Um, so we're going to have to uh, think about some kind of power source. So I think what we're going to look, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the power tab down here, and we are going to make a solar panel. So there's two kinds of solar panels. There's a large, and there's a regular solar panel. This one costs one and gives two, uh, gives two power. 
This one's four and gives five power. So I'm going to use this. Yeah, I kind of want to use the big one, <laughs> even though it costs more metal, whatever. Right. By the way, there you see the little maintenance thing there. Basically, there's a lot of dust on Mars, a lot of a lot of sand, you know, um, and when things like machinery will will, you know, knock up, knock up dust. Right. And dust gets in your machinery. And that's what it is. If you, if you guys saw the Martian. Remember, he had the little air thing and he was spraying off his uh, solar panels. Yeah. So that's what we need a solar panel for. All right. So we're going to uh, that's what we need maintenance for. The drones will do the maintenance, by the way. All right. So where do we want to put our power. Um, I kind of want to put my power over here. Now, I could I really should I really should keep my power close to this place. But um. I also like, I want things to be in certain spots. All right, I'm going to put my power right here. Now that's really far away and I'm going to have to run extra lines, but that's okay. It's not so far away. By the way, the, um, the drones actually have power too. And they have to, re they have to re, uh, you know, recharge and everything. And the RC Explorer. Okay. So the RC Explorer, let's come over here and check out this anomaly. Okay, so we're going to check out that anomaly. And um, I think your drones will actually come to your uh, your rover to repower. So, uh, okay. So I think we could speed this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the drones are... Oh, boy, that's out of range. But it's not out of range. Okay, so the drones that are connected to the rover will not will not do anything over here, by the way. Um, I should probably put all my drones on the on the uh, on the ship by the but that's okay they're fine. All right, so how are you doing? You're doing fine. Everyone's doing good. This thing's this thing is made now that we have the uh, concrete extractor made. That is awesome, but it's not getting any power right, so it's not doing anything, which is fine. We're gonna get to work on that power. All right, so that thing's being done. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some power cables. Okay. And I think, uh, yeah, around here. Okay. So the power cables just have to be like close enough to the uh, item. So you kind of bring them over here. And I don't really like the way the power cables go usually. I kind of want them to go the way I want them to go. So we're just going to do this. There we go. And that should work. Now that's going to take a lot of iron, but... The rover went dark for five hours. When it rebooted... It confirmed it had come into contact with an unusually high voltage electrical charge. Uh oh. Okay. The red alert was sounded immediately after we lost contact with the RC Explorer vehicle. Five lo Oh boy. Um, the RC Explorer has malfunctioned. Uh, it now has to be repaired by drones. Uh, tech boost 50% grant. Okay. Uh, Anomaly. Okay. Interesting. So that thing has to be uh, fixed basically. Pretty cool though. I think we gained uh, 200, 200 Mars bucks and uh, some uh, bonuses to uh, research. And then that reminded me, I'm not researching anything. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Well, let's research some stuff. By the way, um, all these researches are random, so you won't get the same thing as everybody else. Uh, we already got the uh, CO2 jet propulsion uh, for picking, uh, for picking our um, what was that? Uh, the rocket scientist thing, right? So let's look at what we can do. So we could do magnetic filtering for biotech. All right. Uh, oxygen production increased. We could do fuel compression for engineering. And that gives us rocket cargo space increased. That's pretty good. Um, transport optimization. The RC transport harvester is faster with maximum uh, storage increased by 15. I kind of like that. Uh, physics, wind turbines, uh, power. Oh, I actually like that because I'm going to build some of those. So let's go with that first. Then we'll go with this one second. You can queue them up. Uh, Mars crowdfunding. Re receive a one-time grant of 1,000 uh, Mars bucks. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go with that. And then, uh, yeah, that works. You can also outsource stuff to pay for money. I uh, pay money to get research, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Let's slow this down a little bit. So now this thing's getting power, and now we will start getting some concrete. There you go. Looking good. Yeah, man, that thing's badass. Get some concrete, boys. All right. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know I could, uh... I didn't even know I could go down like that. Cool. Oh, it's made it really slow, though. Ooh, now I gotta figure out how to go back up. All right, guys, if you ever do anything funky with your camera, you can just press home. 
Um, and it'll bring your camera back to uh, its starting position. I don't know how I came down on the ground like that, but that was pretty cool. I couldn't figure out how to do it again, but that's okay. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. Okay, so now we're going to start getting some concrete out of there, and they're going to be putting the concrete back here. Let's speed this up a little bit, because I want you guys to see the con- There we go, we got some concrete. Now, you can only hold so much concrete in there, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down a- We're going to put down a stockpile. Uh, what are they called? Storage. Yeah, we're going to put down a concrete depot. Um, right there. Eh. Yeah, it looks like a good spot for a concrete depot. So then they'll take the concrete, the drones will take the concrete out of there. By the way, these drones are freaking hilarious looking. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. See if I can get them. Oh, that's waste material, by the way. Um, we'll deal with that at a later date. Don't worry about that right now. These guys are awesome. Yeah, I want to learn how to get, like, more down on an angle like I did earlier. I can't wait. You guys will probably tell me in the comments because you guys know everything. All right. So what do we got going on? Okay. So this thing is full yet. Uh, is that 30 of 30? So that thing's full. So now we can uh, press on this and he should drop. Oh, no. You have to do unload, right? Yeah. Probably you have to do unload. Unload resources. There we go. So he's going to unload all the iron over there. There's a way to set up a patrol route. Create a transport route. Create a transport route. Select the resource. Okay. Let's try it. Um, select the load resource unload resource there we go so now he should go back and forth automatically hopefully if i did that right okay so now that we're getting some concrete in we can work on maybe some more power options okay um i think what we need now is let's get a battery up um yeah you need concrete for the uh power accumulator sorry it's a battery um yes yeah, so we need that i'm gonna put this uh that's a good spot for it i should put two down yeah let's put two down why not Okay, and then after that, we are going to also get some wind turbines going, and that takes concrete as well. All right, so I don't know where I'm going to put these. Um, elevation boost, 18%. Can we put them up here? No, it's unusable terrain. Uh, nope. Okay, so elevation boost, 18%. I guess that's about the best we can do wherever we put this. Doesn't seem oh, it's better over here. Well, we it doesn't matter because we can't put it there. All right, whatever. It'll be fine here, I'm sure. Um, all clear, control, elevation boost. Yeah, it should be fine. I kind of want to put them on this side, though. Yeah, whatever. They're fine there. Uh, let's put two down. Let's put two down. Wind turbine. And wind turbine. There we go. All right, now we can speed this bad boy up. These guys are going to be doing some work over here. Um, you know what? I think, I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these drones and I'm going to reassign them. Uh, reassign that's reassign right to this because I want them to work on the uh, building the building areas and reassign now I could have just moved the rover over here um, but uh, there's no reason to have any any of them on the rover right now they might as well all be on the uh, all be on the ship it's, it's so much better that way all right so um, all right so this guy's power uh, these these rovers work on power and the way you can uh, re Refresh their power, re repower them, charge them. Is to just go over one of these um, one of these power lines, and they'll get recharged. There we go. Just move you over there, and now let's bring up. Uh, get rid, yeah, we get rid of that. Let's bring up the colony overview. Sector scanned. Anomaly yeah. found. Let's slow this down a little bit. New anomaly. Okay. Shut up, timer. All right. So we got the sector scan. So that's cool. We got a new anomaly. All right, so which one does the anomalies again? Uh, transport resources. I always get confused on which one does the anomaly. I think it's the rover. Uh, vehicle transport command. No, it's the, the explorer. Okay, we're going to have you explore this anomaly here. I should have been having him explore the anomalies um, the whole time, but, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, looking good. So I want to speed this up a little bit. I want everything that we got crafted already to get done. Um... That's looking good. So, are you not doing anything? Oh, God, all that iron's gone already. All right. All right. So, what we're going to do now is... There's going to be a lot of uh, work over here. So, what we're going to do is... We're going to make a um, storage area. And you can choose a universal deep, uh, depot. Which uh, store 30 units of each tra uh, transportable resource. Each resource will be uh, delivered automatically to other depots within drone range. And we're going to put one over here. I'm not quite sure where, though. I want it close, but I don't want it in the way. Uh, that should be okay there. And then what we're going to do is... Um, now, what are these things? These take mo mostly 
Um, actually, that's a lot of uh, concrete, right? That's the con that's the, that's the thing for yeah, concrete. So, all right. So what we're gonna do is, can we have you automatically trans uh, create transport route, load resource, and then unload resource? Right, load resource, unload resource. Okay, so we want him to transport the concrete over here because everything over here uh, needs concrete. Um, oh, this thing needs polymers as well. We started with polymers, right? I believe we had we um we came here with polymers. Yeah, we did. We're gonna have to worry about polymers though. It's gonna be a problem eventually. All right, let's speed this up. I want to get this stuff finished. All right, so you're still doing the anomaly thing. You guys, are, the drones are doing what they're supposed to do. They're bringing stuff over here. This guy's gonna bring concrete. He's not bringing co What's he doing? Is he bringing concrete? No, he's bringing he's bringing metal. Why is he bringing metal? I didn't tell him to do metal. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Uh, create a route. If I create a route, doesn't it does it like to like take away his old route? All right, concrete. There we go. I don't think I did his route right last time. Let's see if he brings over the concrete automatically. This is a good way for you to research move. Research complete. This Anomaly is... analyzed. I'm not sure what he's doing. Is he? He's got concrete. Okay. This is a good way for you to move move stuff around. So now there's a lot of concrete in the area. So now whenever I craft any, no, he didn't bring concrete. He brought whatever the. Uh... No, he brought the concrete. These right here are the polymers, I believe. So, yeah, okay, so he did bring the concrete. So now, if we want to craft more, like, say later on we want to craft more wind turbines, uh, it'll be a lot easier, because the stuff will be over here. That's the idea. Alright, you can stop what you're doing. Uh, do that. Is there any way to stop the route? I could probably just move him somewhere and that stops the route. I want him to get more iron. So why don't you go, uh, create a route, go there, unload resources here. Okay, do it. Okay, so these things need to get crafted. I'm not quite sure why they're not, to be honest. Um, they need more concrete. These guys are bringing over weird... Okay, so he's got the concrete there. Okay, so these guys... I don't know why they're bringing over uh, these little blue things. Um, those look like machine parts. I'm not sure why they're bringing over machine parts and not actually crafting that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they're bringing stuff over here and not crafting this, but that's okay. It'll get crafted eventually. There we go. We got some wind power there. All right. So now we should have... Let's take a look at our uh, overall... Let's take a look at our overall uh, colony. All right. That's the available funding. Uh, that's the research that hasn't changed. Power surplus 0 0.9. That's at night. So that's a really good thing to have. And we don't even have the second wind generator up yet. We don't have any oxygen... Vehicle battery low. All right. We don't have any oxygen or um, uh, or water yet. That's fine. We got the metals. We got the concrete. We got no food. Nothing. No one eats anything. No rare metals. We got. We still got some polymers, electronics. Yeah. All right. We're looking good. We are looking good. All right. I don't know what they're waiting so so long for. Low battery. So this guy's low battery. So that's fine. Um, when you're done there, eh, just go there and charge up now. Uh, anomaly analyzed. Oh, where did it go? I just left click on it. Shouldn't it show me the anomaly? I don't know. Maybe I missed something. All right. She had a low battery. Research complete. So now we can do explore AI uh, generate soul for each explorer. That's a good one. I'm going to go with that actually. Um, oh, it's still researching this. So that's good. Uh, new building a uh, subsurface heater. Increases the local temperature of cold areas. Okay. We don't need that just yet. Why don't we go with these two as well? There we go. Okay. Speed this up. I really want this last thing to get built. Oh, look at this guy. So this guy, um... This guy has low power. So he's going over here to get to get power. Okay, that's cool. Alright, fair enough. And this guy's charging up there. Okay. We, we should have brought this guy over here. Well, or maybe in the middle. Because when the drones want power, you want this, um... You want your RC rover to be in the area. So. Alright. I'm not stopping the episode until this windmill gets built. I don't know what is taking so long. Except for my guys don't have any power. Why did he go over there for concrete? He got concrete right here. Oh, I don't know why he did that. That's weird. I don't know if I did something wrong. 
Yeah. I don't know if I did something wrong or, uh, you know, they just took it from the wrong spot. So, I don't know, but uh, we got this last windmill. Should be getting built any second now. I don't know why no one's building it. Something. Maybe, can I shut this off? Can I uh, make it so they don't, like, bring anything over here? Because they don't seem to be building this thing. There we go. Two windmills, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Now we've got 11.8 power, and those batteries are going to be filling like a mofo. All right, guys, we are way over our time. I am going to call this one here. Uh, if you want to see more of this, if you're excited for this game, uh, please let me know in the comments. Do the thumb up thing, um, everything in the likes, and let me know how awesome this game is, and let me know how excited you are to play it and how much you want to see more of it. All right, guys, so we're going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time, and until then, take it easy.